Installation of the QHome ESS HIB G3. The QHome ESS HIB G3 is ideal for use as a solar energy storage system for private homes. It consists of individual modules that are easy to install. The powerful QSAVE G3 battery with management system, the hybrid inverter, and the heart of the system, the QSAVE mate box. Scope of Supply Battery The scope of supply for the QSAVE BAT G3 battery includes one power cable, two M4 screws, one communication cable, one earth cable, and the battery module itself. Scope of supply, BMS. The battery management system includes the BMS, the mounting base, two charging cables, one power cable, two communication cables, one earth cable, two M5 screws, one ring terminal, two M4 screws, two guard rings, rotating key, screws, washers and dowels, and the wall mount. Scope of supply, mate box. The mate box includes two wall mounts, 10 large wire end ferrules, and eight smaller wire end ferrules, two screws with dowels and washers, two gaskets and two nuts, two ring cable lugs in different sizes, one NPE connecting bridge, and the mate box itself. Scope of supply, inverter. The inverter includes the wall mount, the Wi-Fi dongle and antenna, four small screws, one M5 screw, three waterproof adapters with RJ45 plug, five screws with washers, and the inverter itself. Installing the battery, BMS, and wall mount. The mounting base can be aligned via the rotary knobs. This is only necessary if the floor is not level. Check this with a spirit level. The batteries are then placed on the mounting base and on top of each other. Position the wall mount and fix it to the wall. Connect the upper battery to the wall mount. Now open the side cover and connect the mounting base and battery on both sides with the M4 screws. Both batteries are also connected on both sides using the M4 screws. After placing the BMS on the batteries, attach the wall mount for the mate box and inverter. These can be positioned above or next to the battery block. Make sure that there is enough space for the connection cables. Installing the inverter. Remove the cover for the Wi-Fi dongle and plug it in. Tighten the four screws. You should photograph the serial number which you will need later for registration. Now use the rotating key to remove the protective caps on the connections for the meter and the BMS. You can also remove the protective caps for the PV and battery connections. Then mount the inverter in the upper wall mount. Use the M5 screws to connect it to the mount on both sides.
installing the mate box. Open the mate box. Check that all switches are off. Undo the two screws on the insulating plate and remove the plate and the cover. Then mount the mate box in the wall mount and screw it tight. Connecting the battery management system. First, check that the batteries are off and the fuse switches are at zero. Open the side flaps on the BMS and the batteries. Remove all protective caps. Then, first connect the BMS to a battery, once from B positive to B positive, and the communication cable from COM to COM1. Tighten the threaded screws. Then connect both batteries to each other, from B negative to B positive. Also connect the communication cable from COM2 to COM1 and tighten it. The lower battery is connected to the BMS via B negative. Now install the earth cables. They connect to the BMS and both batteries. The guard rings for the cable gland are placed on the recess on the BMS. The battery cables are pulled through the upper guide and simply left in place for the time being. In the BMS, the positive and negative power cables are connected to BAT positive and BAT negative. The communication and earth cables are plugged into the provided connectors and routed through the lower recess to the mate box. The communication cable is also simply left in place for the time being. Screw the earth cable to the mate box. You can now close all the flaps. Connecting the mate box. Guide the two battery cables through the access point and tighten the protective cap at the bottom. The cables are plugged into the connectors provided and screwed tight. Pull the photovoltaic cables through the opening on the left and plug them into the provided PV connectors. Cables 21 to 24 from the inverter should also be attached to the plugs provided. The inverter cables, 17 to 19, must be screwed tightly to their grid connectors. The earth cable is attached to the earth rail with the ring cable lug, and cable 20 from the inverter is connected to the mate box here. The house connection cables are now screwed into the grid connectors. To the right of this, the cables for the house load are also routed via the load opening to the connectors provided on the mate box. Connecting the inverter. The negative photovoltaic cables from the mate box are plugged into the rear connectors and the positive ones into the front connectors on the inverter. Also connect the battery cables from the mate box. Now screw the antenna cable from the mate box to the Wi-Fi dongle. 
and attach the antenna to the side. Next, connect the communication cable from the BMS to the inverter as well as the communication cable from the mate box. Commissioning the Q-Home ESS Hib G3. You can now close the mate box. To do this, first attach the insulating plate and switch on all the switches. Close the cover. Now switch on the fuse switch, then the PVDC switch at the top of the mate box, and finally the battery power button. The Q-Home ESS Hib G3 is now ready for use. The solar power is stored and can be used at any time.